Hey, what's going on, world? This is GT from Atunes.net, guest contributor for MTV Iggy, and I'm sitting here in the basement in New Jersey with Johnny Flo. Hey, how you guys doing? How's everybody doing? This is Johnny Flo from New Jersey. I want to welcome y'all to the basement. That's where the magic happens, right? I'm really glad to be here. You know, I got some catching up to do. It's been a while, right? Yeah, it's been, it's been a while. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, it's just good to see everybody. All right, man. So it's cool with you. Um, let's just get started. Yeah. When and how did you start with music? Just to put it simply, it's like everybody else, you know, from the love of it. I remember specifically that one day where my friend gave me that CD of mix up like creating hip hop songs, and I just couldn't stop listening to it. Just rapping along, listening to it, trying to perfect it, and I guess my passion grew. And I thought I was nice, just, just rapping, you know, so, yeah, <laughs> just rapping along to these mainstream songs, and I thought I was just a good rapper, and. From then on, like I saw people writing it, so I was like, I could do it too, you know. I'm trying to just, just do better, you know. I guess that's the mentality that every every musician and rapper has. So your old label was TNB, right? Yeah. Trouble based. Trouble based. Your new one is called Muso, Muso. right? Muso. Uh huh. Okay. So, what exactly is Muso? You know, how did that start? How's that different from TNB? Trouble and Basement, you know, that's my family, and Muso is basically version two, okay. the better version. <laughs> <laughs> TNB is just a you know, that's where everything started and we, everything we learned from that, you know, what to do and what not to do, we're applying it in Muso and we're learning so much more now. My best friends, like Chino and Andy, who are my managers now, shout out to them too. Um, they asked me just as a joke, like, do you, wanna, do you want us to manage you? <laughs> and now we just grew and, you know, because I had a management background, I was able to help them in the beginning. Okay. But now, you know, they're just full, you know, just full out managers that I've just noticed. And, you know, it's my family, I trust them 100%. By the way, though, I'm, a lot of people, like, you know, ask me, Muso means people who love listening to or creating music. And, you know, that's, that's our principle. Okay. That's what we're doing. So let me ask you this, mm -hmm. you know, as an artist that raps primarily in Korean, yeah. you know, what's that like doing that here in the States? One of the good things is that there is very, it's, it's very rare to find somebody like me, you know what I mean? Like, it sets me apart from a lot of people. I mean, yeah, there are other rappers that rap in Korean, like shout out to Virus and EXP and everybody, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's people that I don't even know about that's doing it, but it's just rare. You know, I interact with Asian American artists a lot, like, you know, like, as you know, like one of the best was Lyrics and Manifest and Cypher and JL and everything. And I work with them a lot, but at the same time, at the end of the day, you know, I just feel like a different animal, you know? I mean, we, we, you know, we connect personally and even musically, but at the end of the day, it's just different. Let's go a little bit deeper into that, and let's talk about what do you think are the biggest differences between, you know, I guess the Korean music scene, the Asian American scene, because you kind of have your foot in both doors, right? Mm -hmm. um, what, are there like pros and cons to each, or, you know, how do you feel about just kind of being, I guess, straddling the line no. between both? I mean, currently, I consider myself an Asian American artist, and, you know, I love it. And I love the people in it. The people I work with are people I consider family, at least in the scene and everything. And but like I told you, I just said before, it's just different. I'm a different animal, okay. you know. And I'm not saying that I'm better or it's just like I'm just different. My final goal is to go into the Korean music industry in okay. Korea. So right now, Asian American scene, I'm having fun. I'm having great experience. Mm -hmm. And. It's kind of like I'm building my experience and I'm making my resume so I could actually go to Korea and do my thing there. Let's talk a little bit about genres, classifications, you know, labeling of music, I guess. What are your thoughts on that? Well? Um, and that, you know, I have a lot to say about this actually, but I want to try to make it simple as possible. I guess I'm a rapper, you know, that's, I think that's undeniable that I'm a rapper, but I guess the question here is, am I hip hop? You know, yeah. like, do people call me hip hop or K pop or whatever they want to call me? Right. And I meet some people though, like not them, that you know they look down upon you. Like you're not true, you're not real, you know, you're not raw. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I never said that I was. You know what I mean? And you don't see Britney Spears going to Lady Gaga like you're not true pop. You know what I mean? <laughs> and that's the same thing for me. Like they could not like my style of music or my color of music, and I respect that. But they can't look down upon me like I'm somebody fake or like I'm somebody not real. And I'm just doing music that I like. If it turns out to be pop, if it turns out to be boom bap, if it turns out to be R and B, then let it be it. But honestly, whatever you people label me, like it doesn't affect me. I respect everybody, and I just want the same mutual respect back. It's just good music, recognize good music. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> if you had all the resources, you know, it's not a problem, man. All the resources in the world, what would the perfect album or project be? You know, who would feature on it? 
who would direct the video or, or who would star in the video. Just, you know, uh -huh. just, <laughs> if you could do anything, you know, what would it be? It would be every Korean rapper that I respect in Korea in the mainstream. Um, like Dynamic Duo is my favorite rappers, my favorite team. Mm -hmm. And Drunken Tiger, Epic everybody, you know, I respect the whole boom movement group. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just music video, I would have whoever the hottest girl is at that point. <laughs> <laughs> like, and right now I'm feeling like, you know, like, tan, as always, you know. <laughs> just on your step. But really, really my dream is that, um, you know, more than just working with people already up there, kind of like working with them to put my status with, up with them. Mm -hmm. My dream is to come up with the people that I started with. Right. But really, thing is like Vision Lab, who um, directed my Just a Friend video or my One of the Best video. Like I would love them to direct my music video when I'm in the mainstream. And everybody, I have 12 features in my next album. <laughs> wow. And I would love them to all be in my album again and more. And you know, I just want to keep the same team and same family that I keep up with right now, and just go up to the top with top with them. You know. It's a new year, right? 2010, uh -huh. and I understand you got a new album, right? Yes. This is actually the debut. The, the, the yeah, de yeah. debut full length album, the right? Yeah, full LP, yeah. Right through the basic strategy, but um, I'm, I'm really excited, you know? Um, my first album came out in January of 2009, mini album, The Notebook. Right. And which got a lot of love and I appreciate. And as soon as that came out, I started working on this album. So it started in January 2009, finished it in December of 2009. So, and that was my first year of my career. So everything that's in this album was a result of that first year. You know, I try to make all the songs with all, you know, like just I try my best to make songs pleasurable mm -hmm. and try to keep it real, but at the same time, make sure that all my fans that's supported by music like it. Because by now, I don't have, I don't know everything, but I have some kind of idea what kind of songs that my fans like. Mm -hmm. With this album, I had it in mind with every song that I made. And I try to make sure, you know, there's of course the real songs that I made special to me than mm -hmm. anybody else but you know so I hope everybody likes it and I feel like this is the final product that you know I'm not ashamed of it I'm really satisfied okay and you know once your review comes up I'll see you <laughs> too yeah I mean I look forward to hearing it definitely, yeah. definitely. <laughs> so you know I really appreciate you taking the time you know inviting me over here to the basement and before we I guess conclude you do have any shout outs any final words you want to say you know mm -hmm. Well, shout outs to my family, even Sagan Muzo, you know, Andy, the best manager, Suno, the best manager and best hype man in the industry, <laughs> and Duck, you know, I can't, I don't even know, shout outs to Duck and Decipher and Ailey, you know, just to make sure that Ailey's not in Muzo, but I always shout out because she's my family, and shout out to everybody that was in my album, all 12 people, like, I don't even want to start naming you because I'm not forgetting <laughs> about you, but, you know, right. and everybody that I met this year, all my fans, that started supporting me, you know. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here because you guys are the reason that keeps me going. All right, well, you know, thanks for uh, the spotlight interview again. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem, man. And uh, <laughs> yeah, that's another spotlight interview, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, yo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Liz! Johnny Flow. We did it again! Another classic! <laughs> You ready? Let's go! I'm not
Champion, nigga, I'm the little pen, I'm the pop sand. But be a magic girl, roller coaster. I'm the end of